Hey guys, so in this video we'll add, um, uh, adding, um, getting back in the vehicle, I guess, uh, would be a good place to start. So we'll go back to our PC human controller, and we'll mouse look, just comment this. Right, so we want enter vehicle as a new function, and we'll call that if we're not controlling a vehicle. Um, so we'll get camera, player camera manager, get world location, or can we do get actor location, yeah, okay, get forward vector, times, float, promote that to a variable, uh, interaction distance, we'll call that, and I'll set it to just, I don't know, 750 for now. We'll vector plus vector and we'll add these and we're going to do a line trace, line trace by channel. And the start will be the camera lo actor location, the end will be what we add. Actors to ignore, we want to get our controlled pawn, so get controlled pawn, make array, and we'll do that. All right, and uh, we'll draw a debug for now. Actually, this is ignore itself, so I guess that's not even. There's a controller. Does that count its actor? I don't even know. All right, well, we'll just ignore that for now. It's not a big deal. So uh, actually, we'll make this persistent so we can see what we're doing. And if we hit something, we'll break the hit results and the hit actor. We'll cast to base vehicle and if we do that we'll just possess the vehicle but not before we unpossess and um, controlled human once that's unpossessed we will destroy actor yeah so let's see what this does Get our traces and we enter the vehicle. Alright, so we got errors, so we're doing something wrong. Add movement input, right? Right, so uh, we could do an is valid check, but what we just need to do is set controlling vehicle to true. Yeah, that's fine. I guess. So let's see if that still gives us errors. No, nope, we're looking good now. And was that still working? The movement controls. Yes, movement controls are working. Everything's working. Great, so we can enter and exit vehicles now. At least for non VR. We'll do VR uh, in a moment. Um, now, I guess. Why not? Right, so. How do we want to do this? We could make motion controllers for hands, or we could just import the VR template, use those, or we could just add it to the human player pawn. Uh, da, 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 da. How do we want to do this? There's a few ways. Excuse me. Um, we'll just add a content or feature pack for now so we can get the uh, hands. So we'll add that to the project, and hopefully this doesn't add like a million folders. And add it all, and that's fine. All right. So virtual reality, virtual reality VP. Let's go in here. VP motion controller. Let's see what's in here. I haven't actually looked in these in a while, so I kind of forget. Um. Right, so this has a whole bunch of crap that we might not want, but um, we'll just leave it in for now, I guess. We'll go to our humans, base human. You know what, I don't like this human player pawn thing. I think we're just going to stick to this, but we'll uh, 
make some functions here. So set up VR pawn. So we'll do is head mounted display enabled. And uh, if it is, we'll do set up VR pawn. So we'll do spawn actor from class. Make transform. We'll do BP motion controller. Collision handling rover ride. Uh, hand left. So and then we'll do another one and we'll do this hand right. Um. So let's see what this does. Because I'm not actually sure. I haven't practiced this part. But it should work out all right. Your preview. So let's try uh, using the thumbstick. Right. All right. So. Huh. So yeah, we'll have to disable the spring arm camera first of all. So set up VR pawn. We're gonna add another scene and a camera and uh, auto activate will turn to off. We'll drag this up to the head area ish. And if we set up our VR pawn, we're gonna activate. But not before we deactivate this. Alright. Alright, so let's try this, see what this does. It should put us in first person. But we're still not seeing any hands. Let me just look at myself here to see if the hands are even there. Not looking too good. Unless that's a hand. Nope. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. Is there an error on that thing? Yeah, there is. I guess it's because it's a new version. I don't know. All right, well, let's go to our motion controller things here. Let's, let's see what we're doing here. So construction script is probably where it's reversing it now. Uh, hmm. What does it want me to use instead? Use inverse instead? Trying to invert a nil matrix, use inverse instead. Vector. Let's just do make vector. Inverse. Oh, whatever, man. <laughs> I don't know what you're whining about, Unreal. This is your, this is your thing. All right, so let's ignore that for now. Um, let's see. So you've got the hand. Um, let's see how this one does it. Sorry for this. I know this is kind of boring. Um, I'm just trying to make sure I do this right. Is it in the motion controller plan? Right. 
Okay, so snap to. All right, we'll uh, do this attach component silliness. Yeah, origin. And we'll do it for you as well, my friend. And let's see if this adds our motion controllers. So I'm going to actually put my headset on so I can actually see what's going on this time. So I will be right back. And hit R so we can go back to what we're doing. All right, we got our hand. We got our right hand anyway. There's our left hand. Oh, there it is. It's just the motion controller wasn't enabled. All right, so... Okay, this is not perfectly ideal, but we are seeing our hands now, which is a good thing. So let's uh, go from here. All right. <clears throat> okay, so... Um... Right... We should probably also set these hands um, on our paw on our controller so we can reference them. All right, so let's add a variable VP. What was it? Motion controller. Call this left hand, and we'll duplicate that. Call it right hand. Now in here we'll get controller and uh, we're just gonna move this I'm just gonna sequence this actually so I can it's a bit cleaner this camera stuff over here so this is the left hand is it yep okay so uh right where was it get controller cast to pc human controller we're gonna set left hand to this control c control v set right hand to this And uh, what is your issue? Right. Okay. Kind of want to add the hands to the vehicle too, so we could like grip the wheel with the hands, but we'll worry about that in a little bit. I mean, we could maybe add the hands to like the controller or something, and yeah, that's not a bad idea actually. Anyway, we'll worry about that in a bit. So um, we're gonna go to our mesh here, and we're gonna set owner no C, just so that we don't see it in VR. Actually, no, let's do that in our setup VR pod. We'll do um, get our mesh. Whoops. Set owner no C. Then we can have like a third person if we want. Oops, I want to set that to true actually. All right, so that'll um, this is starting to drag on, and I don't want it to get too long. So in the next video, we'll um, worry about some more stuff. But uh, for now, I think we've got our hands in and uh, got entering and leaving the vehicle. Maybe we could just add gripping real quick. Um, let me just see if it's set grip state. Right. 
so we'll go to our event graph. Controlling vehicle. This is the right hand, so we'll do right hand. We'll do grad. And uh, if it's false, we'll do open. And let's just test this so we can just see real quick. This worked. And it appears to not have, actually, which is unfortunate. So let's see what is going wrong. Uh, hello. Um, hmm. All right, let's. You know what? Um, I don't want this video to drag on with me looking for more stuff. Uh, so I'll just show you in the next video of how to make this work, and we'll go from there. All right, so I'll see you in the next one. Bye.